Yeah. Like wow. Normally. Like it was oh, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 I don't know if. Uh, Not come anymore. On. I don't know if that's going to happen. That Earliest ch- exit in history. That chapter's closed. Stayed up for the entire thing, too. We weren't even able to say our team's, our country's burning yours. Sorry about suck it. No. Nope. This year. That's all we want to do. That's all we want to do. All we can we love do Olympics. It. We love World Cups. Mm-hmm. We love when our country is playing your country yep. because you're outright allowed to say your country stinks. Yeah. And people just take it in the competitive sphere. Exactly. Because whenever you say that outside of there, oh, you don't know about the people of France. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I'm talking about yeah. us dominating you at a sport that your people have worked hard for. Yep. Our people have worked harder. Mm-hmm. Right. Shout out to America. This is what greatness looks like. You guys suck. We're allowed to say that. Yeah. Speed walkers. If we had one, if the Americans had a speed walker, mm-hmm. the amount of shit I would talk about the other country speed walking, like everybody's walking. Our guy's walking better than your guy. That's Sorry right. about it. Best. It is America. I love these types of events. Now, the women's national team has been very steady for us yeah. oh, for yeah. a long time yeah. Yeah. that we can be as ignorant and as arrogant as possible. Yep. We're going to beat you. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to do. Sorry. And when I say ignorant, I'm truly meaning ignorant. We don't know who they're playing, how the nope. how the competition is. We don't have a clue what world's women's soccer is like. Mm-hmm. We don't know what leagues they're playing nope. in. We have no idea who the best is in the world. We just assume we have her and we're going to beat you. Mm-hmm. It's been fun. It's been a great run. Yeah. Two great. straight World Cups. Yep. Love That's it. That's eight years straight of talking shit on yep. people for their sport. Us beating the hell out of you. Killing yeah. them. Now, earliest exit in history. I guess water was going to find its level. I guess there was going to come a time where we were no longer going to be the most arrogant group on earth. And I think it's potentially because... Foxy. Whoa, Foxy. Foxy. Fox. What are you doing? What the hell was that, Foxy? Foxy. What Foxy. are we looking for? What the hell was that? Foxy, I was just going to talk about the team. I wasn't going to necessarily blame anybody. Yes, VAR was certainly <laughs> yeah. a Foxy. nightmare. Right. Because the goalie said we lost by a millimeter. Because the whole ball has to be past the line. That's the soccer rules. And I'm sure if you're watching a whole ball. So even if a tiny little bit mm-hmm. was still on the line, no goal. Mm-hmm. Whole ball has to go in there. Somehow these lasers were this accurate. Okay, of I'm course. sure. I'm sure. But nonetheless, we had a couple other penalties missed. One was by, yes, Foxy, Megan Rapino, Yeah. Who yes. has won two World Cups. That should be remembered. Let's go. But there's been a lot of things said about Megan Rapino, and that's just the reality of the matter. Mm-hmm. Okay? Megan Rapino asked for a lot of things to be said about her whenever she wanted to change the world in a way in which she thought it was going to be made better. Now, those ways certainly were not always the ways of how other people felt who were potentially watching the United States, pulling for the United States, only wanting us to win and our absolute best to be shown on the field. And this is sports. I don't want to talk about politics. Mm-hmm. I came to watch sports. There's a lot of people out there that are like that. A lot of people that sports are their escape. So whenever the star of the team immediately starts making a lot of politics stuff, you can see how some people immediately go, I don't want this. You're playing for the country that you want to change so bad, you hate it so bad. Mm-hmm. That's how people started viewing Megan Rapino, which I think oozed into the rest of the team and how people felt about the U.S. women's national team. Then Messi comes in yeah. and Messi scoring like six goals. And a lot of people had a lot of excuses not to watch or care about this women's national team. And a lot of people were very excited for the earliest exit in the history of the women's team because of how they view the women's national team. I would like to let us know, I'll let the world know, I want us to win. I want us to win the next World Cup. Oh, yeah. I want us to win the next World Cup. What? I want us to win every single World Cup so that we can continue to be these arrogant, stupid Yankees Mm -hmm. about everybody else's sport. And for one reason or another, whether they lost focus on sport, whether they lost focus on pride of the team that you're playing for, whether you lost focus on anything, I hope this makes them better. And I hope the next generation of the women's national team understands that that crest on their chest that Julie Ertz was talking about wearing for the last time as she got emotional means a lot to a lot of people out here who just want to see us win over another country. And I think that is what I take away from it all. And I hope the ladies win in four years from right now. Now, let's get to a break. A.J. Hawk will be joining us on the other side. Cannot wait to chat with him. Hell yeah. Rapino pissing people off, though, bro. Oh, big yeah. Time. A lot of big people time. don't like her. Lot, lot. No, so there's Would, a lot of people that like her. Yeah, no, I just mean, yeah, like I saw a lot of the negativity being loud. Honestly, hey, I didn't think Foxy had it in and put up Rapino up there when you were talking <laughs> about the U.S. <laughs> Dude, how bold. <laughs> <laughs> Bold. Dude, she was smiling. Foxy's I thought usually, she made it. 
He's the voice of reason usually. He's like yeah. the control. Is he? You know? I don't like know if that's the case. Uh, Not after hanging out with his booze bag dad this weekend. That's true. He did go back to Michigan, <laughs> yeah. celebrating the five-year-old booze with his dad. There could have changed a little bit. Dad, yeah. good guy, family, good people. But, yeah, I, I didn't expect what he did there either. No. Mm. I was just as surprised everybody else actually had a <laughs> – Yeah. Holy hell, Fox. So you were speechless. looking for this. Not – Yeah. Obviously. Not this. Bingo. Okay. Yeah, that's on me. That'll happen. It's funny and, that your brain did that, though. Hey, Alexi Lawless – He's getting it on the shins. And I assume we're going to, too. And that's why we all had to make it very clear. Hey, that was a kid from Michigan State. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's a kid rock. Well, that's it. That's that right. was me. It was Michigan State that did that. Yep. You know what I mean? No. Uh, Not the worst. What did Alexi say? So he basically just said, like, when you start taking political stances and then it doesn't go well, like, there's going to be blowback. Like, once you get into the politics world, there's a lot of people that are going to hate you immediately. Yeah. Like, that's just what the politics world is. Megan had to know that. So then whenever she misses, like, if that's, um, if that's LeBron, okay? Yeah. If that's LeBron James, which is what Megan Rapinoe is, two World Cups. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going to be a conversation about one of the greatest women's soccer players of all time, everything like that. So if that was LeBron... And LeBron misses a free throw shooting shootout, okay? Yeah. And they end up losing. LeBron is getting cooked. Killed. Killed by everybody. Everybody. Just absolutely slaughtered. And I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, it wouldn't be well warranted, but it would be ruthless. Loud. Yes. So we kind of saw a similar thing happening with Megan Rapino whenever this U.S. Women's National Team World Cup kind of kind of kicked off. And then all of a sudden it doesn't go well. And in her first couple minutes, she misses like two sitters when she gets subbed in. And everybody's like, oh, oh, mm. oh, oh. Right. And then for it to end that way, the people that don't like Rapino, they must have woke up and just splurged all over the place. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, <laughs> that, that, that had to be dream Well, she come bailed true. out. Didn't it have two or three girls miss PKs? So, like, she bailed them out, basically. We're not talking about them. Well, that's the thing, though. Like, we are the... Uh, the other side. There was yeah some, the the yeah okay I got you. There was some you know like Alexi Lawless was one of the only one. Carly Lloyd was one of the only ones. Everybody, before the game though, before that game, Carly came out right and was talking about it. First game or, yeah. or the second the game. Second game yeah. Yeah. after the tie when Oop, they got yeah. in, she was not happy. I'm by sick of it, Carly yeah, Lloyd. Dancing, saying. taking pictures. Yeah, we didn't win anything. What are we talking? About? <laughs> we just got the round of sixteen. No shit. Carly's like, if we lose the next game, it'll be the earliest exit. Yeah, that's what she was thinking yes. in her head there. But everybody else, you know, because Megan Rapino has accomplished a lot in the women's soccer world. Right now, granted, she didn't mention any of those things whenever she was asked what her most favorite or whatever accomplished feat, fulfilling feat, and she just said equal pay as opposed to like. Okay, being one of the greatest U.S. women's soccer team players of all time, mm -hmm. two World Cups, girls around the country are looking up to our team, still wanting to do this and everything like that. She said equal pay, so that's how she views herself. She's a political activist. Like, that is literally who she is. So whenever things go wrong in the sports world, you get cooked. And whenever you're in a political world, you're going to get cooked. So that's two things kind of going to kind of cook you. So for Foxy to just bury her, yeah. Yeah. Wow. that was kind of crazy. crazy. I mean, unexpected but expected, I guess, in the same See, yeah, I didn't even thing. know about all that. I just knew she's the leader of the team, and she missed her kick, so that's who has to take sure. the blame. When you're the leader, sure. you got to take the blame. Are you talking about sports? Yeah, sports, not politics well, here. Well, that's not what we're talking about. Well, we're kind of talking about the intersection of both, which mm -hmm. has been happening way too much, I think, in a lot of people's Sport heads. politics. A couple right. years. Now, that is something that I appreciate, though, like when people take a stand and want to make a change and everything like that. So hopefully time will heal all wounds. Mm -hmm. In 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we'll talk about Megan Rapino being two-time World Cup champion for the United States of America, and everybody will be able to give her her flowers. Yes. Because yeah. right now, it ain't like that. No. It's going to take some no. time. It's going to take some time. It'll come you? around. I can't believe that. Like, I, I didn't think they could be knocked out this quickly. I thought, okay, like, hey, we still got some time. They can go advance still somehow. somehow. Yeah. yeah, people hadn't even started paying attention. No. Yeah. Like, hey, Too we're right not yeah. even there yet. Like, we're not like, even this, this isn't technically the World Cup. This is just all the qualifying stuff for it. No, no. <laughs> no, no. This is the World Honestly, Cup, this is, my friend. This is the World Cup. <laughs> this is the actual World Cup. Yeah. Yes. This is the tournament. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I apologize. You're a part I've of the been, problem. Yeah. Wow. wow. You are the problem. You know you Look at this media I mean, he started this It's just the World Cup. Jesus. We're just talking about the earliest exit out of the World Cup. No, ever. Just, 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 just,
I didn't even know we well, were. Well, he said, how about, Repo- how about Repogno, Repogno Mr. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, Rapino. <laughs> you chauvinistic pig. Wow. Jeez. Okay. okay. Has it like, has anything to do with, with the, if they're male or female team? Because the male team, was it last year or a couple years ago, they got knocked out earlier than they ever had, right? We didn't no. even make it. We didn't make it. It was two That's ago. what I'm saying. I uh, thought that's where we were with that the female before game. Cutter. Yeah, remember we were Yeah, Cutter, we were going to win. Yeah, right. We lost in the first the round. The one before that, we weren't. But I will say this. Just as we wrap up the soccer, and if you want to call Gumpy real quick to help us out with this, as we wrap up the soccer from an international standpoint here, yeah. this men's team, they got an English kid that said, I want to play in America. After they're scoring, a lot of this with the uh, USA. Oh, yeah, kissing it. A lot of USA. Ooh, yep. yeah, a lot they, of like. They, they okay. It. Yeah, that's what I, I think smart. that is smart. I think that is what people would hope for with the United States of America team that is representing our country that is out there, you know, like – should at least potentially act like you like what you're playing, who you're playing, how you're playing for, you sure. know? Uh, that men's team, I think, is going to be much more popular going forward, and that's good for all parties because the equal pay thing. Yeah. That's right. Uh, the equal pay thing that yep. Megan Rapino did make happen, they all kind of split the money. Everybody in the men's team and the women's team made 300000 bucks at the end of the day for their World Cup appearances. Awesome. I think the men's team brought in... ten thirty. 13, 13 million. Okay. The women's team brought in three point something million. That's TV rights deals, I'd assume. Is that right, what that yeah, is? Probably. It has to be. And merch and stuff like that. Yeah. And then they combine that and then it is split equally amongst all the men's team and all the women's team that were on the World Cup rosters. So we'll see how that ends up balancing out going forward. Who goes where? You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. now we're seeing, you know, like Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, Livy Dunn. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of younger female athletes that are generating a lot of capital right now. Mm. A lot of eyes, a lot of partnerships, a lot of advertising, needle moving stuff. I think as it continues to go, it's not even get crazy about my daughter. Okay. She's going to be on that team in about 16 years. Oh, yeah. Okay. Four World Cups from now. Phil's daughter is going to carry the U.S. women's national team here in about three World Cups. And Kenzie's coming in at the age of 17. She's going to carry a couple. And then, obviously, Mitt's little sister, Quincy, is going to be right. here. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there's, we got a whole team ready to go. But I will be excited to see how that number changes because you would assume that the men's team that brought in $13 million and the women's team that brought in three and then them being put into one pile, there's going to be some disgruntled people. But we don't know what the future looks like in any form or fashion. We'll-